Hello everybody, my name is Joe and welcome to basically Inception. We're going to be creating games within a game. I am talking of course about Game Dev Tycoon. Now, uh, if you see a weird aspect ratio, that's not my fault, that's the game. I didn't set it, you can't, you can't change the aspect ratio, I'm sorry, but if you have any problems with it, I can't do anything, shut up. Anyway, let's do this. Starting again. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you will have been, you will have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right in the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. <sighs> Bloody hell, that's a lot taken. Next, okay. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. I've already chosen the name, I'm going to be calling it LJ Games. Of course, Little Joe Games. And the play name's going to be... Uh... David. Davis. Yeah, it's going to be called Davis now. Uh, that's a girl, that's a boy. Uh, we're just going to be messing around, we don't really care. And that one. And it's close will be... That one. Continue. Alright, tutorial. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help screen. Help menu. Uh, to access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, and creating a new game, uh, creating a game, simply press escape to gain the menu access. Access to the menu. Shut up. Alright, tutorial. Congratulations, you've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage, garage or a garage, whatever you say it, and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many success uh, successful businesses have started out this way. Ah, tongue twisting for days. Anyway, continue. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to begin to bring up the action menu. Okay. Hello. Supporters supporting a young startup by the game. I did buy the game, it was like not that much at all. Like six quid or seven quid or something. Anyway, develop new game. Before, the, for God's sake, <laughs> before development can begin, you, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Woo! Fancy! Your options, your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Yay! Okay. Uh, game one. We're going. That's actually pick a topic. We're going to be doing uh, UFO news. That's basically the same thing, isn't it? Oh well. Uh, UFO. Let's go. Pick a genre. We're gonna do uh. An uh, action UFO game on platform. We're gonna do the PC because PC for these. Um, we're gonna call it. Uh, uh, that's what I'm gonna call it. Uh, next, text based and 2D graphics. Obviously, we're gonna do 2D graphics. It's stupid. Otherwise, actually, mm, 2D graphics. Start the moment. 15k that cool, that did us. All right, game development runs in through three three stages. I'm spitting all over my screen. I've just realised. Um, at the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Pick picking the right fo the right focus for your game greatly increases your points to generate. <sighs> okay, next. Alright, think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. I don't want to. Okay. Alright, so gameplay, you want to have a lot of gameplay, obviously. Um, so about there. Story and quests can stay about there. Ninja wants to be quite high as well, I guess. I know. Okay. Alright, so we're getting quite a few points. Game development has now started. Well, obviously. Okay, while developing your game, you will generate game points which you can use, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better your game will be. 
Hello! My mum. Alright, okay. Uh, for that, from time to time, there will also be bug points generated. Hello! These points become less likely that, like, uh, once you game experience. Bugs should be fixed on the game you released and decrease in minimum of time and cost. Whatever that said. Oh my god, it's laggy. Sorry, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean it for a bit either. This laggy. Alright, dialogue, level design. Uh, want it to be quite high. Artificial intelligence, obviously, it's action, we've got to make that high as well. And dialogue, we don't want too much dialogue, because obviously... Actually, I think uh, artificial intelligence will be more important, so let's do it like that. Okay. Okay, there we go. Whew. Oh, we have a bug. Uh, five design, six design, technology, and research. Okay, we're good. Alright, during development, you can also select additional features but for your game. Right click. Right right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Uh, selecting additional features make the, make the game generally better, but also increases cost. We don't need to think about that. We're making the best game in the world. Alright, you will also see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. Yeah. Wait, what? Alright, this is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Uh, wait, what? Okay, that sucks. Alright, well designed, wants to be quite high. Graphics, need that to be quite high as well. And sound, you can piss off. <laughs> basically, um, basically Call of Duty in a nutshell. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, let's have the graphics a little bit down. Let's have that. Alright, okay. Come on, make the best game. Alright, sound finishing. Alright, the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button Oops. to publish your game, but you but you should also nah, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. So we've got four bugs up here. Um, and we have to wait for them. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely aff affect your ratings, so you should ever so you, you should only ever consider that you need the cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay. So let's just wait. Bloody hell the lag. Okay, and finish. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games you gain experience and improve your skills. While develop while development is complete, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Alright, so we got this, we got uh, new topic, new combo. We got we got a lot of things. Uh, let's just skip all of them. We don't really care. And of course, we got Davis or Davis or whatever you want. To... Actually, how would we pronounce that? Davis or Davis? I'm gonna say Davis. Cause why not? Release game. Good judgment. Create a game with good to good topic and genre selection. Woo! Your game is now complete and will be handed off to the publishing. We'll see review sales coming from the rest soon, whatever that meant. Let's wait. Yay! First reviews came in the new a newly released game. Has a plus came in. Okay. Alright, it gave us oh poo. Has its moments. Well shut up. No one likes your game stars. Star games, whatever. Quirky but good. Alright, we uh, uh, Bit iffy. I like it. Game hero. Game hero, you're okay. And we have falls a bit short. Yeah, well, that's cool of you. Alright, close. Uh, after publishing your game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are, are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights to, into what works and what doesn't uh, work when developing a game. Okay. To generate a game report, close this message and click on anywhere on the screen to bring up an action menu. Okay. Sorry, I just the time. Alright, LJ Games, a new customer new eh, a newcomer in the in, in the game industry has released their first game. Has the the game received favourable reviews. With such uh, such a good start, LJ Games are sure to gain fans quickly. Good. Alright, that's us at the moment. Oh, we generate quite a bit of money. Uh, <laughs> that's that's pretty good to be honest. Okay, now your game is on sale. It receives the income from the uh, from the game every week. 
You can also see how well your game is doing by looking at sales graph at the top right of the screen, as we're already looking at. Uh, has the uh, was so successful that we have we have 16 fans. That's good. We have fans. Whoa, well, my voice just went there. <laughs> All right, 28 fans. Okay, we're doing good. Uh, 35 fans. Rank 100. Uh, 40 fans. We got now fans. Come on. Uh, all right. We're starting to get to our end of the thingy now. Uh, as as achieved the company sales record with over 10,000 units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of LJ Games. Yeah, it's our first game. Shut up. Okay. Uh. Pfft. Oh. Oh, we made a bit of a comeback when it comes to there, but then it just went. Pfft. All right. And that's it. I, I think that's all of it. Oh no! Come on, finish off. There we go. Game off the market. It has to, uh, it sold one eleven thousand five hundred sixty-one units, generating eighty thousand, nearly eighty-one thousand in sales. Okay, that's pretty good to be honest. All right, so, uh, developer put in your game research. Let's have a look. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. Just try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Oh, that's good. All right, try developing game. Try to develop games with different topic with a with different topic and genre com genre combinations while slight research boosts. <sighs> Christ. Um. So let's research a new topic. Let's go for space movie cyberpunk mystery. Uh, let's go for a mystery game. Start research. Do it. Do it now. Oh, recent market studies suggest suggest that the gun G sixty four is is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the low price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over the home cost over home computers. Okay. Uh, experts say that it might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay. All right. Come on and boop. Yay! Research complete. You have now accepted the bad mystery. Okay. Let's create a new game. Uh, develop a new game. With pick topic, we're gonna do mystery, uh, mystery adventure game, it's RBG, strategy, a, a strategy, obviously, pick platform on the PC, obviously. Nope, nope, what are you doing? Go away. I'm gonna do this, call it, um, what's it called? Ah, oh. solve it. Damn it. Didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> Click the wrong button. Um I have a button right next to my uh onto the button next to my one key, the left number one, the next one, number one. And it's basically that's the button I used to record. Anyway, solve it, damn it, that's what we're gonna call it. Solve it, damn it. Oh, actually. Made a bit of a thingy there. There we go, solve it, damn it. Next, we're gonna do two the actually uh, to the graphics, yeah. Start development, yeah, boy. All right, so, um, uh, all right, stories and quests. That that needs to be quite high. Gameplay, uh, engine, uh, okay. Engine, is it? Is what's it doing? It's it's not moving. Has anybody else seen that? Oh, there we go. Went a bit weird then. Story and quests. Alright. Uh, dialogues. We need quite a good dialogue. Uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, and level design. Quite high. Let's make dialogues quite high as well. So about there, I'm going to say. Alright. Still no bugs. Surprisingly. Alright. Well designed. Uh, graphic. Alright. We need... Let's have sound and graphics quite high. The... The art uh, well design doesn't really matter. Alright, uh, okay. 
I mean, we're making a mystery game. It doesn't really matter. Look at the graphics in this game. It's complete. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Sorry to the developers who aren't watching. Uh, according to uh, uh, according to rumors, the Japanese company Nimvento is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Nimvento is known for the widely su successful arcade game Dinky Kick. Yes, this has a lot of weird uh, weird names that do not make sense, and then knockoffs, knock off, knock offs, knock offs. Okay. Many industry experts doubt that the home gaming consoles will take off, but we are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Oh boy, it will deliver. <laughs> it will deliver. <laughs> As you guys know from the NES and SNES. SNES, yeah, that's right. Alright, uh, seems about right. Let's finish it. Okay, new combo. Uh, engine quite high. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Go, 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 and seems quite good. Pardon me. Release game. Release it. Came for you. Bloody hell, they go quick, don't they? The first reviews for a newly released game, solve it, damn it, came in. Okay. We got. Oh, don't. For the love of God. <laughs> oh my God, we're doing really bad. Uninspiring. Oh. This is why I wouldn't be that good of a um, game creator in the future. That's what I want to do in the future, though. Not much fun. Bollock. Alright, close. Alright, see if we can get some monies. See if we get some out of it. And that was... Okay. Uh, 14k. Oh, we lost a fan from that. Oh, we l we're losing fans. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that, he just went way under, he's like, nah, I don't like this, go away, bye. Why is why is nobody liking the game? I thought it'd be really good. Uh, today, Nintendo, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumours and announced their plans for the release, uh, to release a new home gaming console called TES, or TES, early next year. The console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Yeah, it's a brick. Okay. Oh. We're doing so poorly. Look at this. It just went from oh, really good and it just went. Pfft. And now we're losing loads of fans. We didn't have any money fans. In oh, thank you. To Davids. Uh, to Davis. Uh, from Patrick and Daniel Clug. Greenheart Games. Hi Davis, we are the creators of De Game Dev Tycoon and would like you to thank you very much for passing and the game and supporting us. Okay. Game Dev Tycoon as our very first game and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our latest startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring more new more games in the future. <sighs> okay. Seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon. Patrick and Daniel Clark Greenheart Games. That's their website. Okay, thank you. Whew. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Shall we? Let's actually. What's this do? Uh, I don't know what he's actually doing. Let's have a look. Select. Oh. They don't do anything. Oh, uh, yes they do. Silver Dam is now off the market. It sold 5,000 units and generating 37,000 in sales. Okay. Oh, we're. Mm. Uh, our post release analysis of. It's complete and we got the following results. UFO and action is a great combination. Seems to be quite important for this type of game. Hmm. Okay. So let's. A report of game. Uh, insights, please. That's nice. Whatever that said. Uh huh. We got a new thing, have we? No. Oh well. Uh, can we like do a sequel yet? All right. Let's do take uh to the okay. UFO pink genre. Oh no. What was the actual? What was the actual thing of it? Um. Uh, game history. Let's have a look. So, profit of H. Uh, I'm not gonna read that. Let's just do it. Uh, develop new game, new t pick topic, UFO, pick genre, action, pl platform, PC, 
and call it whatever the first game was called two <laughs> yeah I'm actually quite surprised that worked all right next uh, to the graphics again obviously all right so remember it said sound is a very important thing so story and quest need that to be quite low gameplay quite high and the engine needs to be quite high as well okay no K no K yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> Christ um, all right it's gonna be our only game for the rest all right uh, dialogues level design uh, dialogues don't really matter that much level design does and so does artificial intelligence okay yeah this will be our last game for the thing so like I said it's gonna well I didn't say these are gonna be around 30 minutes long instead of 15 because I want this to going quite a bit because it's a long series just like angry birds but i don't care anyway <laughs> while generating game reports you start gain insights to the development process uh learn about them blah, blah, blah. these insights show shown hints in the event screen unless you have turned this option off so i don't really know. yeah it does uh the hints range from plus 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 to minus minus and indicate how important the area of this type really okay Oh, alright. Sound is very important. Sound is very important. Uh, graphics need to be quite high. A little bit lower. And so does world design. So, like that. Okay. Alright. Not too bad on this. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, I've just realised our money. <laughs> okay. I've just realised we are running out of money, it seems. Which is kind of poop. And we've. Let's just finish this. Do this. Let's do this, boys. Yep, 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 yep. Release game. Woo. Oh, we're going to go bankrupt. Okay, and we got. I'm not gonna look. We got a four. Meh. I've seen better and inspiring and fun. I said, shut up. We try. I try, okay? I try. Alright. Oh, we're still generating money though, which is good. That's what we want. We want. Seriously. I've just finished whatever the. F the fist game. No! Oh, no, the typo. Ah, uh, I am in the contracting business. We can use the skills like yours. Yes, I need money right now. We have only got that much money. Okay. We need money. Uh, fine contract work. Uh, okay. Let's go for the lowest one. Okay. Uh, that one. That one. Uh, um, I don't know. 13. 13 and 4. Seems like this one's going to be it. Alright, except we're going to mess this up so bad, I can tell. Alright, come on. Yeah, we're going to do this. Come on. Yeah, boy! Woohoo! Okay, nice. We got loads of money from that. I just got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. I usually, usually have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. I shall do that. All right. Uh, this is quite. Oh, here we go. See, we're getting more fans. We're getting lots of fans now. This is good. <clears throat> All right. We've been here for two years now. Really? Okay. <laughs> quite surprised that. All right. Whatever the fist game was called. <laughs> All right. Whatever the fist game was called is. Uh, two is now off the market. It sold 9,000 units, generating 65,000 in sales, which is mental. Uh, that's that's still I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. All right, uh, let's have a look. Let's research some stuff. Uh, new game engine. Now we don't need that. New topic. Let's have a look. Business, cyberpunk, movies, and space. Let's go for a space game. 
Yeah, because why not? <laughs> why the hell not? We'll do this and then obviously we'll have to end it, unfortunately. I hope you guys enjoy this video. <sighs> I, I really do. Please like it. <laughs> you successfully re researched it. a new topic. Space. Okay. Alright, in that case, let's save. That was bloody quick. And... Yeah, I guess. Alright, anyway, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more of my content like this, be sure to subscribe. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you later. Goodbye. Oh, no one. Intro... <laughs> Industry news: The recently released TES home console is my uh, expansion's favorite. Okay, bye bye.